Welcome to Never Too Late for Fitness Radio, bringing baby boomers proven strategies and innovative products for getting fit, staying fit, so you can live a longer, healthier, and happier life. Here's your host, best-selling author and fitness advocate, Phil Ferris. This is Phil Ferris, and welcome to our show. Never Too Late for Fitness Radio provides answers and straight talk about fitness, nutrition, and healthy lifestyles for people over 50. Our goal is to educate and advocate health and fitness strategies that help you live a longer, healthier, and happier life. Dr. Pam Fernandez of Wellspring Chiropractic and Acupuncture is a third generation chiropractor with over 30 years experience helping people resume their lifelong pursuit of health, fitness, and well-being. She gradu- graduated with honors from the National College of Chiropractic and is a Chagong instructor. Thank you for being on the show today, Pam. Well, thank you, Phil. Now, Pam, can, can you tell us a little bit about your practice, the clients you serve, and, and how you help them achieve their health and wellness goals? Well, Phil, I see all kinds of uh, patients in my office, but specifically, I do work with uh, middle-aged women a lot. I it's focused on reproductive issues, issues of anxiety, stress that these women see in their lives, and they just are people that go, 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 and, and don't, um, don't ever stop for themselves and do something for themselves to help themselves, which is essential. Can you give us an example of, of the, perhaps without sharing names, but just the, the kinds of issues they bring when they first walk into the office? Yes, I can uh, give you an example of a specific person who, lady who came into my office and um, she is in all kinds of pain, and her body is what she's experiencing. And this is a manifestation of the, the stress that she is carrying. She shared with me that she has two autistic children, her oldest and her youngest, and the middle child is a behavior disorder child. So they're all girls and um, lovely girls, but it's, it's just a lot of stress for her to handle this constantly she's always running with these girls trying to do all that she can to give them the best support as a mom that she can but oftentimes she will just forget about herself and I um we had a talk about this that uh, that is very essential that she remember herself at least if nothing else to get into my office for the five minutes that it would take her in a day to um, to step by and it, and get herself adjusted because that nervous system is essential and the key to all of the body's healing. So with this chiropractic adjustment and the auriculotherapy, which is a form of acupuncture that I do in my office, it's a very short process, but it's very effective and it'll it makes her whole day go better. So um, unless she is in in good shape. She doesn't have the energy and the the motivation to do what she needs to do with her girls. Okay. Now, um, let's dig down a little bit about how stress affects the body and how, you know, uh, chiropractor uh, adjustments can help relieve the stress, which in turn allows the body to get better. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um... Stress is, um, when we are under, there's, there's different types of stress. We have acute, um, subacute, and chronic stress. And the stress that I am talking about right here is, is the chronic stress. The acute stress would be somebody's in an accident, something happens, and then all of a sudden your mental capabilities and your physical um, strength is, is increased exponentially. That's not the stress that, I, that I'm talking about. We're meant to have that type of stress in our bodies, but that, that stress is meant to go away. So that's a, a good stress um, factor that, that our bodies are built in with. The type of stress that I'm talking about, for example, that woman with, with the three, um, three girls that she's raising, and, and any children today, is, it's always a challenge raising children, but... Um, the, that type of stress is chronic stress. So when the stress goes on day after day after day, and there's nothing that you can do 
to uh, alleviate or get rid of the stressors in your life. In other words, the children, sometimes I see it with children, sometimes middle-aged women have parents, and sometimes they have both. They have elderly parents and children that they're taking care of. So there's a lot of stressors coming at them, putting them into chronic stress. When a person is in chronic stress, the hormones in the body just fluctuate. We're getting an increase in cortisol levels. When, increase, when there's an increase of cortisol levels, your heartbeat can, can increase, your blood pressure increases, uh, you're not able to think clearly, you feel like you're in a fog, um, you're just not able to, to function the way that you would normally function. Memory might be off, you might be like walking into the kitchen and forgot what you walk in there for, for example. So when, that, when those cortisol levels are up, just functioning is very, very difficult to do. And it's just going to affect the entire nervous system. So that's why we, I uh, focus on the nervous system by adjusting the spine, getting rid of interference that could be occurring in the spine, which is where the nervous system gets interference. And like I said, that nervous system is key to the body's healing um, ability to heal itself. And our bodies have an incredible power to heal itself. Now, when there's an adjustment, research has shown that what increases in the brain is another hormone called dopamine. Dopamine is the type of hormone that, that relaxes us. It causes us to, it just causes the love buttons to go on. <laughs> It, yeah, it causes us to be happy and to just enjoy life more when dopamine increases. And every adjustment increases the dopamine in your body. I see patient, patients all day walk in stressed out, and then they walk out with a big smile on their face because it happens that quickly with an adjustment. That dopamine level goes up. And, and the more they get adjusted, the more that that, 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 that will continue to stay up. The dopamine will increase, the cortisol will begin to decrease, and they'll be able to function much better in life. Okay, so, so the, the, the stress, the chronic stress affects not only you know, the, how our muscles function, how our organs function, but also how our brain functions. Exactly. And, and, if, we, and if, we're, if, it's, if the nervous system isn't properly functioning and they aren't, they aren't getting the, cop, the, the appropriate responses from the hormones throughout the body, uh, it'll start to shut down in various ways. And by doing the adjustment, you free up the energy to allow the natural healing process of the body to take place, which gives people that relief that they need, um, similar to what they get if they get a good night's sleep. That, that's another way of getting uh, relief, but you can't sleep all day. So your body has to heal itself while it's awake. And, and by getting the dopamines activated, um, it puts them in a different state and allows them to continue on in, in face of the various stressors that they have. Yes, yes, exactly. So, Pam, if someone, um, how would someone know if they're a good candidate for your practice? Um, stress is, is one thing. If, if you're feeling like, um, if somebody is feeling in that brain fog, their memory's not as good as it was, that is, that is a huge factor, a huge signal that something is off in your nervous system, something's off in that hormonal system, and that needs to be repaired, the body needs to be healed. Um, the other thing is, is any, any kind of pain in the head, neck, shoulders, arms, any of the joints, just um, because that, that cortisol functioning, the high Stress is going to cause our bodies to feel that the pain. All pain comes from from brain signals. It's not actually where the body is is injured or where the body where you're feeling the pain. The pain actually comes from from the brain and from the nervous system. That's where the signal of pain is. So any kind of any kind of pain, regular headaches. I see a lot of women who come in who just you know, they have headaches every day, and we have just helped them and gotten rid of all of, you know, their headaches, and they're able to function much better. So 
any of those types of signals are things that they would see that they would um, be able to come in and get help. I also see women who come in with infertility issues because the stress is, is going to cause infertility issues many, many times. So I work with that. I work with the PM, women with PMS because that's another sign, another signal of it, the uh, premenopausal symptoms, women with hot flashes, any of those types of signs too, the female reproductive um, symptoms are things that I frequently work with. Those are some of my specialties. Okay. And it's, it's kind of interesting. A lot of people, when they get neck pain and, or they have uh, other kinds of issues that you mentioned, they say, well, that's just getting older. That's just what you have to accept. And they don't realize that that's the body giving them a message to seek help. Uh -huh. Because it's not normal to have headache. It's not normal to have aches and pains like that. And, and, and so that, you know, the, the message you mentioned before is, you know, listen to your body um, and, and seek some relief other than, you know, you know so a lot of times they'll take some aspirin or Advil or some other Band-Aid kind of approach because they're looking for the quick fix. Um, mm -hmm. So I want to switch now to, you know, a lot of people, when they think of uh, chiropractors, they think all chiropractors are the same. They think they do the same things. Uh, so what makes your practice different? <laughs> well, one thing is when you walk in the door, I have a fabulous staff, and they're just so welcoming and, and loving with all of our patients. Um, the adjustment that I've been doing, since I've been doing this for 30 years, I have tweaked it to a point where um, where it's so much different than, than other people chiropractors out there, people are so relaxed on my table, on my adjusting table. It's very comfortable. They're relaxed to the point where they just don't even want to get up when their adjustment is done many times. They're like, oh, can I just sleep here all day? <laughs> <laughs> so people love that they can come in and just relax and get their adjustment at the same time. Because a lot of times people will think, oh, when I go into a chiropractor, they're going to crack me and twist me and turn me. It's going to be a harsh feeling. And that is not the case at all in our office. We have even kids that come in and just jump right up on my table because they, they just love it. They love the adjustments and they're all, they all feel better on the way out. Can you, can you describe a little bit the difference between, cause you know, the, again, most people think of then it's going to be a, a they're going to crack my bones and they're going to move me around and it's going to be very physical demanding. So tell us a little bit about your, your, your approach and how it's different. Mm -hmm. um, most of my, most of my adjustments are done prone. In other words, face down, not always. It just depends on the patient, this uh, person. And I, I look at them, first of all, evaluate them. I take x-rays on the patient when they first come in and then I evaluate the spine, see exactly where the movement needs to occur in the spine. Now, the, mis the misnomer that a lot of people don't understand is that a vertebra really only has to move one millimeter in order to get the pressure off of the nerves. A lot of people think that, that a lot of movement has to occur in order for that to happen, in order to feel better. So um, it, it, it's not a process where it has to be um, where it has to be done harshly. It just needs to be done more specifically. In other words, I evaluate exactly the angle that I am adjusting at, exactly the force, the um, the velocity. Those are all factors that I put into every single adjustment that I do. Okay, so so you're pinpointing, kind of laser treating the the location as opposed to well, let's just hey, let's move some stuff around here. Um, exactly. Okay. Um, tell me why that. Besides the fact that it's a, it's a more pleasant experience, uh, why is it important to have a very uh, focused um, approach to adjustments? Well, it's like. Um trying to think of an, an, an analytical example or an analogy that I can come up with, but it, it's, um, it's like if, if you are just 
heading towards a, a target, you know, like in, in a bow and arrow, you want to get exactly where that target is. And you want to approach that um, very specifically because um, to just go ahead and, and adjust the the spine without knowing exactly where you're going or what you're doing, people may feel better, but it's not going to get the results that we get in, in our office. When we specifically adjust, we know where we're going, we know what the problem is, we get the cause away. And a lot of times, um, the, the cause of the problem, the nerve where that's being irritated, is not exactly where the pain is. The pain may be in the shoulder, and yet there's a specific place in the neck that needs to be adjusted. And that will get rid of the shoulder pain because that's where the nerve travels from that, that place in the neck. So analyzing it specifically is very, very important. Plus, when we analyze it specifically and don't adjust it just all over the board, I find that the stabilization of that adjustment is much better. So um, people are going to, the adjustment is going to last longer and, um, and just stabilize better. Okay, so, so when you make an adjustment, I mean, that means that you're, the, the vertebrae has kind of been out of whack and it's adapted to that position. And exactly. so when you, so when you, so the body's kind of used to it mm -hmm. and, and when you put it back in place, there may be some tendency to want to go back to the way it was. Yes. And, and so that's the stabilization part of it. the more stabilized it is, the more likely it will persist and stay in the place that it's supposed to be as opposed right, to right. going and, back to the old way. And, right. and, and, and so that's you know why you want to go specifically. And, and the other point you made is for years, I had knee issues and I went to different doctors and they kept on looking at the knee. And then I finally went to a, a chiropractor who like you said, well, this is a problem in the, in the back. And he identified specific points in the back. He fixed that and the knee pain went away. Mm -hmm. And, and I, you know, I had doctors telling me, well, you need uh, surgery. You need this, you need uh, uh, steroid injections. You need, and I got, you know, that sounds kind of aggressive for, you know, and I was like, okay, um, a couple of adjustments and the knee pain goes away. And it's like, mm -hmm. I wasted two years. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, getting the, treating the right thing and then doing it very specifically um, maximize the impact of what you just did. And so that's, I think, a you know, great thing for, for people that want to get, get it over with quickly and then also get lasting results. Yes. Yes, exactly. And um, it, it's, it's, Kind of like exercising too, like you said, when you, when you move that vertebra, it has a tendency to slip back. So it's not; it's a process. It's a healing process that we work on, and it and it will take, in most cases, more than one adjustment. It's it's also like you can think of it as if you had braces on the teeth. That's you can't just put braces on for a day and then expect those teeth, you know, be able to take it off and expect the teeth to be, to stay back in the in the place where the dentist was trying to get them to go to it's going to take time and it's going to take some repetition but um but the like i said that vertebra will will stabilize much more quickly than than it would otherwise all right so now some people uh can be hesitant initially to, to see a chiropractor so what are the some of the concerns they may have and how do you alleviate those concerns um, the main concern that I have, I, I had, I know this, this sounds a little bit silly to me, but to, to people, this is very real is I had a man come in who was concerned that his, he may be paralyzed if I adjusted his neck. <laughs> and, um, that is, is not going to happen. Um, it's just not even, not even close to a possibility and, and, um, so any type of harm um, is, it's just not going to happen, and particularly if you have a chiropractor who, who will take the time to evaluate what is going on, take the x-rays, look at, at what's going on with the spine, where are the vertebra moved, is there anything else, any other problems that may be going on, because sometimes a person could, you know, 
um, way out of the box have a cancer in, in the um, in the spine that's that I've never seen it in 30 years, but it's a possibility. So we have to look and rule out all of the the oddball <clears throat> possibilities that could happen too, that could be potentials also. But um, yeah, with care and, and with diligence and making sure that we're doing the right thing, there is no, <clears throat> there's no pain associated with it either. Some people feel like they're gonna get hurt by being adjusted, and that is absolutely not, I can say absolutely not the case in, in my office, so. Okay. Now, if someone does start down the road with chiropractic care, um, and, and they have a kind of a plan, in place, what are some of the pitfalls they may encounter that may prevent them from actually achieving the goals they set out for? So pitfalls that they may encounter are um, if they go out and, and um, do things that their body is just not ready for. In other words, if I have a, a, a lady come in who is um, a daycare person, for example, and then she comes in and gets adjusted and then goes and works in the daycare the next day, lifting a lot of different babies and children and bending over and those types of things. It's not that it's a pitfall. It's not that she's not going to get better, but somebody like doing those types of um, movements during the day after their adjustment may experience a little bit slower progress than some of the other people. Okay. And just realizing that you are in a healing process for the body. Yes. And that, um, you know, that if you continue to subject yourself to the same exact problems that caused it, um, it's going to delay getting the progress that you want, exactly. which is the same same thing in terms of fitness. Um, you know, if I don't allow my body to heal properly and I go back too soon, I'm going to, you know, be on the sidelines again, waiting to heal. So it's, it's a matter of listen to your body, realizing it's in a healing process. Let that process take place. Um, and don't try and short circuit the, uh, the, the, the process that you've already started. And, and for most people, it, 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 the problem didn't just happen. They've let it go for a while. And that's usually what it, when you talk about chronic stress, it's not the first sign of chronic stress that they go seek help. It's usually after quite a bit of time. So you have to undo that and you have to retrain the, the body and the mind to alleviate the things um, that caused it in the first place. So, yeah. uh, so, so, Pam, how did you decide to become a chiropractor? <laughs> Actually, at first, before I was a chiropractor, I was a chemistry and biology teacher. Um, so at that point, I loved my teaching job, but um, I decided I wanted to do something where I could have my own business and be a little bit more independent, um, not knowing how fascinated I would be with chiropractic. My grandfather was a <clears throat> actually a napropath, not a chiropractor, which is very, very similar. And so our family started in this business in 1927. And um, so I grew up in it. So I was very familiar with chiropractic. My parents were both chiropractors. And I didn't go in it for that reason because it was the family business. I went in it because I could be more independent. And I just, I just felt that my hands were healing hands and that I was very gifted in that area. And I thought that I should use that gift that I had been given. And I had no idea when I started how amazingly fascinated I would be with with chiropractic and I wake up every day go to my office every day more and more fascinated with what chiropractic can do and the power of the body to heal itself through chiropractic care and with chiropractic care it, it just it amazes me day after day and I'm just I am so glad and so blessed that I chose this profession because it's beyond beyond what I would have ever dreamed of in being able to help people. Well, that's, that's absolutely fabulous. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's not everybody that gets to use their gifts in a way that allows them to uh, make a living and help people 
and feel you know that they're on mission. Um, many of my listeners don't live in Crystal Lake area, um, and they're looking to improve their health and their wellness, especially since the New Year's here and people are starting their their resolutions. Uh, some may have already given up on them. Um, so, what advice would you have for people in general at this time of year to help them achieve their health and wellness goals? Well, I would say, you know, if you're if you're not in the area and you're looking to improve your health and wellness goals, and you need, um, I I I believe that it would be great for you to to seek out a chiropractor and and to do that. You know, many people ask me, well, how do you how do you find one that you you think that you can trust? And I my thing with any doctor that you're looking for is to ask around, ask other people, ask your friends, your family, what are, who do you go to? What are they like? Certainly you can find somebody who has, um, has some advice in that, in that area or has experienced someone in your area. So I, I believe that word of mouth is one of the most essential things. Um, I also believe that people should, you know, especially it's the beginning of the year. It's time for you, for people to start to um, to just take care of themselves. Exercise every day. Go for a walk every day. Watch your nutrition, and you know people know what to do with nutrition. It's pretty basic, I, especially these days. I would say stay away from wheat and dairy and and sugar. Those are things that create inflammation in the body. We want to make sure that we have a good good nutrition with a lot of, you know, vegetables, fruits, um, and, and pro good proteins in their bodies. So exercise, eat right and seek out some chiropractic care. Okay. Sounds like, you know, pretty good prescription, uh, for, for most ailments that people have. Um, but Pam, I understand that you'll be participating in a healthy new you health and wellness expo in, uh, January at the Holiday in Crystal Lake. Can you tell us a little bit about the event and what they can expect when they come see you at the event. The event is in Crystal Lake at the Holiday Inn, like you said, Phil, on uh, Saturday the 25th. I will have actually, um, I'm sponsoring two booths there, one for Wellspring Chiropractic Acupuncture. The other booth that we'll have there is uh, Prime My Body booth, which is a uh, a hemp extract. So I'm, I'm a hemp extract educator also. I'll be doing two um, speaking events, which I haven't gotten the time for. One will be on chiropractic, and um, the second one will be on the, the hemp extracts um, and some of the science behind that. You know, everybody's talking about and hearing about CBD oils and hemp oils. And so we'll be looking into that at the talk that, that I'm doing on that day. So I am so excited to be there. Um, there will be many, many health, other health booths that people can come and explore and see just what's right for them. Talk to different people and find the right fit. So that's a, you asked what, what can people do for their health. That's a great way to, to find um, people that, that may be able to help them with whatever specific things that they are looking for or seeking help for. Yeah, and that's good advice because I understand there's going to be over 60 vendors there. Um, there'll be uh, book signings, there'll be demonstrations, there'll be activities for all ages. There'll be things for kids to do, for parents to do. So, um, you, know, you know, it's from uh, nine to four. Um, mm -hmm. so, if you, you know, so if you get a chance, uh, put it in your calendar and uh, go see Dr. Pam. Uh, and, uh, you know, see her at both her booths, listen to her talks. Um, so if, if people want to get more information about you and your practice, where should they go? Well, we're on Algonquin Road in Algonquin. Uh, my phone number there is 847-669-6071. Um, you can always call the office or go to our website um, at wellspringac.com. All right. Well, Pam, I would like to thank you for informing us and sharing your passion and your experience with us to help us, uh, you know, pursue a, a healthier new year. So thank you so much for being on the show. 
Well, thank you, Phil. This has been a, a great opportunity, and I've really enjoyed speaking with you. Well, thanks. Have a great day. You too. You've been listening to Never Too Late for Fitness Radio, hosted by Phil Ferris. To learn more about the guests or resources on our show today, or to listen to past episodes, go to nevertoolateforfitness.com.